Hello everyone, and welcome back to my cats. Hylix has a mind of its own, and it's decided today that it wants to play in this resolution. So however that turns out in rendering, I'm sorry. But right now, I have very important matters to attend to. Like purchasing all the food humanly possible. Oh god, I bought like 50 burritos, this is gonna take a while. Could you imagine trying to have lunch at your job, and then one of your coworkers is taking a whole hour to microwave 51 burritos, and you just stand there? Helpless and hungry. Well, luckily for me, the shop music slaps. I'm just not sure pelting Gibby with frozen burritos is gonna help me much. I might keep a few of them frozen just to try. Oh wait, turbo tendons. I wonder if Pongorma could benefit from that, actually. Alright, now we're talking. Alright, now that we're all washed and pretty, it's time to get some food. I like how when I summon an airship, it puts it over there just so that I don't get complacent. Yes, sir, I would like to purchase 200 hot dogs. Alright, Gibby, let's see you try us now. There was no paper cup I missed from here last time, right? Witness, he debases below Refulgent Mountain. You think I don't know that? Get with the times. Man, Gibby's really gonna get it once I remember where he lives. I'm either going to find my way there, or the meat clusters are going to assist me. Oh, there we go, yep. 99 meat? Whoa! I gained 198 flesh points. Alright, if we're not ready for Gibby now, we never will be. She actualizes that massive life, so science avenged that memory. And in this economy... Oh, juked ya. Oh wait, this is new. Hey, deformed crab monster, can you remind me where Gibby lives? I am the Sage of Death. I grant you my token. Oh! Seek my siblings, the Sage of Brains and the Sage of Death. I did, they already gave me their tokens. What's in your fridge? Another hot dog and juice pack. Anything out here in the strange abyss? It feels like I'm treading through a maze with the lights off. Oh, there's another fridge here. Oh, I found more muscle oblique. Actually, I have the least mightiness. I'll use them on me. You really should turn the lights on back here, Calamari Man. Otherwise, how are people gonna get to your fridge? I'm pretty sure that was the last token, so I think I can go watch ancient television now. Learned Legend of Melting. The ultimate magic. That sounds nice. Ultimate magic. Randomly strikes three times. May briefly stun targets. That's interesting and expensive. I would be able to cast that once. Alright, now Gibby's in for it. Again, if I could just remember where he lives. I'm not sure how, but I'm drawing so many blanks. Where does Gibby live again? <laughs> oh right, we have to go to space. Man, it's a really good thing all of us are astronauts. This music makes me feel like I'm in Dragon Ball Z with a trick up my sleeve. And I am. Thine domicile's truth will wonderfully stretch, our beast thrums a lard. I do like lard. Smear below. It's totally haughty. You're still alive? Don't worry, melted dinosaur toy. I'll avenge you. Alright, Gibby, we're back for thirds. And you have no idea how many calories we're packing. So the only ones that could actually use that expensive spell would be me or Desmond. And since I have the lowest amount of mightiness, I'll protect everyone. The mystic meat will save us from statuses. Desmond, I'll have use the Legend of Melting. I'll have Som, Snoza, and Pongorma use Dark Flame. Ten damage. That's not much. 346?! Holy crap! It turns out the legend really does melt. Jeez. I'll toss Desmond a juice box. And since he took the hardest hit, he can also have a hot dog. Oh wait, everybody shares the hot dog. That's good. Snom and Pongo will dark flame again since everybody's getting healed. Juice. I thought the Dark Flame would hurt both the statues, but it seems to be targeting only one. Oh yeah, get that hot dog. I'm gonna quickly target the Vital Statue with some shurikens. Desmond will drink more juice. Actually, Pongo and Snob could use some juice too, and I do have a, and I do have a pack. There's about to be a lot of juice flying around. And Pongo will attack the statue. 
juice. I will invoke the mystic meat once more. I'll have Desmond bust out the melt magic. And I'm gonna have everybody else throw chewed spaghettios at the statue. Ouch. Oof. Look at that. But Desmond is about to die. I'll do a health chant, and we'll all have a hot dog. And the rest will pelt Gibby with SpaghettiOs. This is going significantly better than last time. Now Gibby can't really deal enough damage to get me worried. Everybody give Desmond your juice. Pongo just use space shurikens. Oh. Okay. I guess that's all she wrote. And now we're rich. Damn, this time it wasn't even close. I was expecting to have to retry at least another two times. But then I guess I just stumbled into the endgame alleyway of gear, and became the final boss myself. And I found a hot dog. <laughs> so I am defeated. <sighs> Wayne. I'm sorry about everything. Gasp, wheeze. By the way... I sent this moon to explode when I die. Say your prayers, and caress your beasts. Sputter, gas sputter, like mountain radiance. He died radically. Is this it? Is this it for our Wayne and his friends? Wait, I can control stuff. Can I take parts of Gibby with me? No, I guess not. Oh, the crystal's dead. Oh no! Wait, is that me? And Wayne, vital, invisibly adrift, considers the delusion out of the revolting apparel convexity. With the furnaces, a engine rules totally, and doth your chemical approach amidst delusions? So ends the tale of the Platinum Corrosions, who sought to pilot, or sort of totally congestated my weaponized corrosion. Oh wait. <laughs> That's the guy who wouldn't let me touch the lever. Well, I suppose there's nothing he could do about it now. The end. That's why he didn't want me to touch it, it would end the game. This is absolutely the first turn-based game I've ever played through. And it was fun. I like it. I'm kinda sad that this one ended. I mean, I'm so powerful now, only for the journey to end. But then again, I guess not really, because there's a sequel. You could probably see it for yourselves, but this game was a trip. <laughs> it really was. And I doubt the sequel's gonna be any less tame. Or at least I hope not. The weirdness is probably what kept me playing the whole way through. Well, till we see you in next time in Hooper 2. I'll catch you later.